when I arrived this morning and I came, started to climb up from Salt Lake City to Park City, these roads, these mountains were so familiar to me. And it felt so good that you can come from so far Milano and be home in a place like this. We need to hear, you, listen, when I was uh, trying to cross over to this country, it was, I felt that um, there was a lot of, uh, they were lacking diversity. And I, I, every time I bring a, a, an idea for a movie or anything, they were like, ah, this is too Mexican or this is too Latin. So I'm glad that finally we have festival like this where anyone from anywhere can bring a project and and Sundance, it's, they, they, they let us, uh, they give us a, a platform to, to expand, to, to, to talk about uh, our projects and, and to have our, our unique voice heard. You know, uh, I have to say I'm excited, really excited to be back. I'm also a little bit fearful of being back, you know, like, uh, COVID is still a thing. Uh, it's certainly not the same as it was in 2020 and 21, but uh, you know, we are gathering in large groups and uh, I'm hopeful that uh, you know, we'll all be taking precautions uh, because it's so great to be back celebrating uh, incredible art. This is a collaborative medium and it's great to celebrate not just the work that we've all been doing, but celebrate with the people who have been doing the work together. Uh, and that's why festivals like this are so important. That you, you, I think you always gonna find like some of your most interesting work happening, you know, um, in, 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 in independent cinema, in independent art in general, you know. Um, oftentimes that, that, that um, just by the economics of it, that, that that type of filmmaking doesn't have the same pressures to 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 be a, to be a product and to, to succeed as a product. You know, um, I think you'll find work uh, that that's that's more um, unique. You know, you get you get filmmakers that that uh, haven't haven't had that necessarily had they, had they shot. You know, in, in, in big budget filmmaking. You know, um, but they getting they have an interest in voices. They trying to find themselves. You know, um, they're expressing different things. I think it's a good window into like where the industry's going. You know, if you if you look at independent cinema, you know, if you take a snapshot of the Sundance Film Festival ten years ago, you know, you'll you'll kinda know a lot about who would be, you know, who would be working today, ten years later. You know what, it's hard to make a film outside of the pandemic, but during, to make a film in the midst of a pandemic, in a time when people are not only passing away, but um, being really isolated from one another, like we, we've lost community. And so making a film is even more spiritual now because you're at the mercy of your entire crew to not catch COVID and get shut down. So it feels even more collective than it did before.